Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and the reason for recording this video is that uh, the hard drive on my computer failed a few days ago so I had to install a new version of Ubuntu I mean uh, a new installation <laughs> not a new version because uh, I have already installed uh, version 14.04 I know that uh, 16.04 is already out but uh, I kind of hesitate to use it because uh, many of the packages that I uh, really need for my work are not uh, available there so I have to keep working with 14.04 and uh, there's no problem with that so the reason is uh, this uh, default installation and as you can see uh, uh, the desktop of my computer doesn't look like uh, any of my uh, other videos because I really uh, highly uh, customize it so I found it a uh, nice time to share with you how to uh, make your Ubuntu look better so I already have some drafts here on my website I haven't published it yet but these are the steps that you're gonna need to follow so let's get started the first thing we want to do is to install the Nomix uh, icon set and the uh, Thames uh, what we need to do is just add the PPA just follow this code let me clear the window first Okay, so do add app repository ppa nomix slash ppa. Okay, then hit enter to confirm it. Then you're gonna need to update your uh, sources. Uh, I have to remind you, this is just a clean install. I just uh, literally uh, booted up from an uh, install. So everything is uh, its default. Okay. Now I have I want to install the Nomix icons icons so the apt install uh, Nomix. You see there are uh, there are a lot of packages for Nomix here. Well, what I'm interested in is Nomix uh, GTK 10, and I also would like to install uh, Nomix icon 10. Uh, SQL or let's just install everything install tem star uh, it's just a regex for everything after this okay it's kind of a slow installation <laughs> uh, yeah it's done now and I also want to uh, install the some wallpapers from Namix. So I say so do apt install Namix dash wallpapers wallpaper. And again, let's install uh, every uh, wallpaper bar by Namix. And uh, these Namix packages are all uh, part of this PPA, so we should have access to all of them and we are getting uh, them downloaded for us okay then the next step is to install uh, unity tweak tool so we can easily cha uh, change the theme and the icons if you are on a gnome desktop gnome or gnome uh, it depends how you pronounce it then you need a gnome tweak tool but we are good to go with the unity tweak tool okay It's done, and let's run the Unity Tweak tool. Okay, and uh, you will be greeted by this window. And uh, the first thing you want to do is to change the icons. So uh, you see the uh, Nomix icons that we installed are here. So I'm going to go with Nomix Bevel. You see everything has changed, even in the uh, taskbar. Then the term I want to use is dynamics. Okay. Good. And maybe uh, I can show you how the circles look like. The dynamics circle uh, icons is like this. Level is like this. Circle light is like this. And uh, you can choose any one, uh, which one of them you like. Okay. I will just go with the bevel because it's the newer version of the icon set. And I at using a uh, circle term 
I can't for a long time, so I want to try something new. Okay. Okay. Uh, one more thing about the Unity Tweak tool. The good thing is you can easily set up your workspace. So I, if I go to the uh, workspace settings, I want to uh, enable the workspace switcher, and I would like to have four uh, horizontal and four uh, vertical uh, workspaces. So what it, it does, it allows you to by pressing uh, Control, Alt, and left or right, or up and down, have these extra spaces available to you. And if you want to know the shortcuts, you just uh, press the super key and hold it down for a moment. The, the keyboard shortcuts for the Ubuntu will come up and it tells you, for example, for switching between the uh, uh, desktops, you can use Control, Alt, uh, left, right, up or down. And you can uh, get some useful information from here. Okay. Then the next thing I want to use is just a nice... Uh, let me get rid of this nice dock bar uh, on the bottom of my uh, desktop. For that, we're gonna need uh, to install um, uh, Plank. For installing Plank, we would use this PPA. Just copy paste it here, and you see you have to confirm it. Now just simply, uh, of course you have to update the sources again. Opt, apt update and after that let me clear the window again and just sudo apt install plank yep nice oh sorry wrong uh, shortcuts and if I want to run Plank, what I will do is just simply uh, bring up a terminal for the first time, of course, and I would say uh, Plank. And you see this nice uh, dark bar here. It's really cool. You can also uh, change the settings. Uh, but for changing the settings, I believe you need uh, Plank with a uh, preferences switch okay so for accessing to the preferences you have to you have to say uh, plank uh, dash dash uh, preferences okay or maybe not well Okay, let me um, do this and let's try it again. Okay, that's the right uh, word. Plank dash dash preferences. Okay, then I can s choose from here that the, the, the team I want for the plank so uh, it can support GTK teams or uh, matter. I don't like this one or transparent I don't like this one either so I just go with the default or the default is the same as GTK plus and the position you can change from right to left but I would like it to be on the bottom and I want to have the icons a little bit smaller like 36 and I want to uh, icon zoom, uh, zoom option enabled for example if I uh, move my mouse on one of the items it will be uh, enlarged by 150 uh, percent then the behavior is where things get in interesting so I want to have a, a pressure level on so and I want to make it uh, entirely height okay so what it does is when uh, and a full screen applications comes on your screen it will hide the uh, the dock okay and uh, that's all to it and you have some uh, ducklets for example the clock is here you can add it here and you get a nice clock here and you can have a shortcut to your uh, trash bin and uh, that's all to it
Okay. Now, uh, the other thing I want to add is uh, the Quake terminal. You can you have already seen that I use this a lot. So uh, for the Quake terminal, it's uh, much easier. You just need to open up the Ubuntu uh, Software Center, and you will be uh, searching for uh, Quake. And you see already this has a full review. Everybody likes it. I love it too. And enter your password. And it's done. Oh. I had to run it twice because the first time it wants to save some configuration files. By default, you can uh, bring it up by uh, hitting F12. And I don't like the default look, so I'm going to right click on it and I go to preferences. I would like to. Uh, Disable the tab bar from the general menu, and uh, I want to hide the scroll bar. And in the appearances, I would like to have the text color as a lime green, something like this, and the back color dark is okay, but I s I would like to have less uh, transparency. Okay, and here you can uh, edit the shortcuts, but because F12 is used in many other uh, applications, I would like to uh, change it to uh, Alt, Shift, and T. And the full screen from FL, F11, I want to change it to Alt, Shift, R. And uh, quit, it's better to be Alt, Shift, Q. Okay, now if I press Alt, Shift, T, it will come back again, and I, I have, uh, I like it this way much more. Okay, let's uh, try it. Okay, nice. So you have all, uh, you have done all this, but you, uh, if you restart your Ubuntu, then everything will go away. Uh, of course, not the team and the icons, but the uh, GUIC need to be uh, started at uh, the startup. Also, the plank need to be uh, started at the startup. So for uh, adding them to a startup, you just simply go to. Uh, your dash um, look for uh, startup applications and I will here add some new um, items I will name this one Quake Quake and the comment is just simply Quake right <laughs> and I will give a comment uh, comment for it the best terminal emulator ever okay and I will do the same thing uh, for uh, Plank. Plank dot bar, just a name for this uh, startup program. And the comment will be obviously just Plank. And just uh, some comments. The best dot bar ever. Add. Now everything is set. But uh, wait, uh, I need to change the background also. So let me choose my favorite one, this one. Okay, now there you have it. Uh, your Ubuntu is uh, pimped to the max level. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video and see you later again.